Hi everyone, welcome back to U77 in our weekly patrol log. Here we are, um, after the little bit of a skirmish we had with that uh, ship that got away last time, we have completed repairs, I believe, unless there's anything... Oh, we got one... Um... Ah, the, uh, front, uh, the forward torpedo tubes are slightly damaged. Um, so is our... Uh, buoyancy tank which is a bit of a thing but they've been worked on as we speak however we have spotted oh bit of a lag spike there uh, there is smoke on the horizon bearing 266 right so uh, so scan the horizon see if we can see anything now we are turning so that's why I'm not looking directly um, the way you may think I need to look. Um, I don't see him anyway. 266, let's see if they've plotted him on the map. Uh, yeah, there he is. Okay, so we actually need to come uh, this way to try and intercept him. Uh, we have plotted him once. That's where the initial spot was. Let's plot him again if I can select this blooming pencil. And I'll get an idea of where he's going. And what speed he's going as well. We can do that in a second. So yeah, we're back and we're turning. So he's over, he's over, over yonder. Yeah, he's slightly out of the range for my human eyes. My Mark One eyeball is uh, is uh, obviously far below the standard of our watch crew, which is um, fortunate. But anyway, we're going to press on, trying to set up an ambush. Uh, hopefully, we can get a, um, a a kill out of the uh, straight out of the the hat, which would be nice, wouldn't it? First thing. Oh, that's awful. Let me do. I'll redo that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll um, I'll plot this up. See if we can lock him in, and uh, and get a. It'd be nice to get a, a good kill now with the torpedo tube. I don't know, it's 80% damage. I'm hoping we can still fire it. It's just, it's, um, you know, it's it's not perfect. So he's going like there, isn't he? Okay. Um, yeah, that's, we're in a really blooming awkward position. So... If we can uh, extend this up, come on. Oh, hang on. Help if I. No, I did have that. Why won't you? There we go. Speed ahead. Oh, I hate that. Sometimes the arrow keys allow you to move the map. Sometimes they change the the uh, the speed. And that see, I can move up and down there. But if I'm holding something, it changes the speed of the um, the ship, which is bloody annoying. But hey ho. Speed. Right, that's slightly, slightly off. So we, we need to come over here slightly, but I'm only just fudging this for a quick reference. Um, so if we get something like, no, God, I'm I'm using all the wrong tools right now. Hang on. So there, it was a thousand meter range. There we go. Okay, so if we set up, hopefully it won't change, and we'll sort of come in there. And set ourselves up for an attack angle. Good. Right. Okay. That's the plan. We'll get that sorted. Obviously, we'll submerge. Fingers crossed. Everything's okay. So we can use the um, forward firing torpedo tubes. Or, although, I, I guess there's nothing stopping me spinning around and using the rear one. This could be the perfect opportunity. So that's what we'll do. We'll set up a rearward shot. Um, let's just speed up a little bit so we can um, make up the ground. Good, so we'll move into position, and I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, so we've... Um We've done a little bit of calculation, as I say, we've, we've plotted her course, you can see the ship's coming here. I did a uh, plot speed plot here, she's doing 400 metres 
400 meters per uh, minute. So 400 meters per minute, 401 meters is 13 knots exactly. So she's doing 13 knots, which is always good. Uh, let's have a little look, see. Look at that, look at the sun on the water surface from underneath, that's stunning. All right, we need to look behind us. Oh, there she is. I wonder, is that the ship that we we, we lost last time? It may well be. Um, weapons officer, where are you? There you are. Identify her. Steam merchant, you know, it could be. It could be. Right, speed, we've got down as 13 knots. So that's something. Right, if that is, we're going to keep the... Um, Periscope as low in the water as we possibly can. Yeah. Okay. Range. We'll 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 calculate that. We'll just put that below the um the surface for the time being. We've got a nice um uh, visual bearing every so often. Right. So s distance where we're going to be firing is 800 meters. Uh, so we'll keep a note of that. 800 meters and. Uh, yeah, we are going to drift a little bit. We're doing oh, we're doing zero knots, so hopefully we'll kind of hold station where we are. But yeah, I don't want to give too much away, so let's just pop up a little bit. Oh, there she is. Hello, I see you. So we're going to clear. Any there we go, cleared. Right. So range, we're going to do eight hundred meters. And um, should we quickly get the Can I do this? Thirty four and changing rapidly, right? I'm going to put it to thirty six for the time being because that's changing all the time, right? Let's get the Periscope down. So a visual isn't that grand actually compared to what I thought it would be. So if we bring this map up here. Yeah, she's okay. She's coming into the uh, target zone. So we've got a steam loaded in five. We got that flooded. Right. I'm going to go fast. I hate I can't quite get these all in shot at the same time. We're leading it slightly, so when... She actually goes on there. Now she is 49. 51. Okay, we'll change that to 49. Excellent. We'll drop that down for a second. So, torpedo tube 5. She's flooded. Uh, we had that set roughly. Oh, this. One more final calculation. Sixty-eight. Oh, fifty-eight. Sorry, fifty-nine, sixty. Yeah. Okay. So we'll drop. Oh, that should be fine. Okay. Stand by. Thirty-two seconds, and before it should impact. One more revelation, Re revolution, <laughs> a revelation of a revolution. She's got no deck guns. Again, she's got these fifty cals which we, she fired. Oh, she opened up at us last time, didn't she? So five, four. Three, two, 
torpedo away. We don't have a... Uh, you can get that one loaded, please. But we don't have a, a comeback if this misses. I suppose we could keep our range and use the deck gun. But that's all we've really got. She's got those 50 cals. Uh, and she will open up on us if she's anywhere near close. But It's looking good. It's on target. Good it. Oh, and the um, he's blown the uh, the mast right onto the front of the ship. Oh, she's in um, she's in bother now. She's slowing down. Oh, she's clouded in bl thick black acrid smoke. Okay, that's a good hit. Um, bits of debris everywhere. She's still not sunk, so. Um, and she's going off at a slight angle, trying to dodge and weave, but I, I should imagine she's slowing down significantly now. So, um, best thing to do now is just to, um, stay within touch. And, uh... Keep an eye on her because I think um, she'll probably over time succumb to the damage that we've just dealt her. Good. So we've got a uh, torpedo being reloaded into tube 5, which is grand. We've got um, two electrics in tube 2 and 4, uh, a steam in tube 1, a search pattern in 3. And we've got an external reserve for the rear to bring in as well, which we'll do once things calm down a little bit. But that's not bad. That's a good hit. You can see she's she's a lot lower at the rear now. That she's taking on water really quick, actually. Yeah, I think just just keep an eye on her, and she will eventually succumb to the damage. So, um, should we go and have a listen on the old hydrophone to see what uh, she sounds like? See if we can hear any creaking and uh, damage and all that kind of thing. New contact, merchant, moving fast, moving away, bearing two zero one, medium two zero one. Range. Okay. There she is. I wonder if that roar is the fire going on. We should have listened to that, I guess, before to see if... Um... Oh, I missed the ladder completely there. <laughs> uh, to see if uh, we can tell a, a note in difference from the actual... Um... The speed of which the engines are working. Let's have a quick look. Two ten is here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's gone. She has gone. Oh, and there comes the flames.
Okay, let's surface the boat then. And uh, we'll we'll continue on our little uh, voyage. Let's see if those sailors want to be taken prisoner of war, or we can give them some uh, captured goods, maybe. Give them uh, a bottle of wine to keep them warm. Maybe a hot drink and uh, some blankets. Uh, yeah, just yeah. You know, that's that's what U boat captains did often. They often came up to uh, make sure the survivors were okay and any uh, recovered uh, cargo. So with the ships they sunk with, if they recovered any boxes of blankets or you know any captured goods, they'd often give to the uh, the crew members in the lifeboats. You know, Ooh, off he goes. Um, in in the ways to uh, keep warm, like a bottle of whiskey or you know something. Some bottle of spirits or something just to uh, keep them going until they got picked up. Good. Right. While that's doing that, let's have a look. That was ship sunk. Merchant steam merchant. Sorry, medium steam merchant. Stupid brain. Uh, for 5,304 tons. So that's four ships sunk so far. 23,438 tonnage sunk. All of it merchant. Fantastic. Good. How's the old batteries? They are... 97%. Uh, they're probably okay. We don't need to get them charged. Good. Right. If I can climb a ladder. Brilliant. We'll get the preparation started. Ooh, beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset. Or is it sunrise? It's 5.30 in the morning. Right. Where's those survivors? Um. Oh, dear. They're despawned already. Okay, that's fine. Um, we we aren't going to go and help them then. I can't see them anywhere. Where where are they in comparison? Oh, they're because the, it's because the ship sunk over here. Have a look look in the right direction. We might be uh, have a sporting chance of seeing them. Oh, there's the flotsam and jetsam. Ah, there they are. There they are bit more debris. Okay, there they are. They are still still going. That's grand. Right. Let's get this torpedo in as well. Get that action done. So we've got six torpedoes left. Um, so we've got, still got a little bit of fun we can potentially have. But for the meantime, we're going to press on and try and find a next juicy target. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. I seem to have a little bit of water stuck to the top of my head. Look at that. Just see it. What is this? Hang on. Try and rub it on his shoulder. Nope, it's not coming off. Okay, fine. Uh, welcome back. We've done a lot of sailing since we last spoke. I'll show you where we are. So this is where we took the, um, the kill, that ship off the west coast of Ireland in the Atlantic and uh, we've sailed all the way up here. You can see these little markers, little places where they asked us to go and check out. There's a couple of U-boats in the area as well. And I heard that there was a radio message some time ago to say that a convoy had left Lock, uh, oh, Lock U, which is Lock U, U? that's probably pronounced completely different, uh, heading for Reykjavik up here. So we are, obviously I plonk, plonked myself right in the middle. Hopefully we'd try and catch that convoy. Uh, we haven't, but we found a ship, which is, is is good enough. It's good enough. So we've got this ship coming in uh, right here. It's a lone ship, which is okay. Let's um, there we go. Let's just plot her in. Get that going. Uh, obviously, we'll do the one minute time just to uh, see how she goes. She's not going particularly quickly. Uh, we're charging in up here. We may I may actually come over it like here so we can um, set up a better attack mark. I'm not sure what that was. I must have misclicked there. Good. So we've got a single ship coming in, which should be nice. A quick update on how the repairs are going. Uh, the front torpedo tubes are up to 81%. Um, 
there was 80%, so we've managed to repair 1% on them. I'm hoping that they're still good to fire. I'm pretty sure they will be. Everything else is tickety-boo. Everyone else is happy. Great. So we've got 15 seconds. There or thereabouts to uh, clock this in. Uh, so oh God, she is going slow. There you go. Six, five, four. Mark. There we go. Right, so she is going super slow. 200 meters. So we know 400 meters is 13 knots. So 200 meters is six and a bit, which makes sense. Six and a half knots. Okie dokie. Good. And we also got um, a little bit of... Uh, is she turning? Or is it just that I haven't stuck that line on straight so it looks a bit odd? That may not be... Depends on the zoom, it may not have been super accurate. So if we just get a rough guesstimate going through like that. Something like that. That gives us a, a rough guide to work. So if we come down to here... If we plot roughly that this is going to be our kill zone. Oh, I'm a lot closer than I thought it was. Grand, where am I? Oh, no, hang on. Uh, yeah, we may need to extend that because I don't think I'm going to get there in time. I'll go to um, a head standard to see if we can actually head full. To see if we can uh, close that range. If not, we'll we'll set up a little bit further. His visibility is quite poor, as you can see. It's, it's early doors in the morning. Oh, it's dripping down now, look. Oh dear, maybe I've got a cold or something. Come here. Now they're all, they're, all, they're all jumping out of the way. Oh no. Something's dripping down your head. Or your nose, maybe. Ooh, that's quite that's, that's quite horrible, isn't it? Hey, Dita. I just... Uh, no. I can't see... Ah, it's gone. There we go. I wiped out on Dita's back. He didn't know. He don't mind. Grand. Right, it looks a little choppy. Um, so, yeah, yeah, the deck gun might be slightly out of action. Although we are charging ahead. Um, let's hold on to the railing. It's a bit choppy, in it? But if we're not charging ahead at breakneck speed, then maybe it won't be too bad. Yeah, it looks choppy, doesn't it? It looks choppy. Yeah. Mm, I was looking forward to a bit of deck gun action. The sun's just about to rise over the horizon there and bask us with its glory so if we can get in there before it's um, too bright in the early dawn then uh, yeah we got ourselves a nice chance can we see her with the old binoculars well I can't oh the sun's breaking above look at that look at that Oh. Can't use my binoculars. Why can't I use my binoculars? There we go. There's the sun. It's behind the cloud. Oh, look at that. It's like the start of Teletubbies. That is amazing. Gorgeous. Anyway, back and back it back into the war. Yeah. Okay. So she's a fair way away. We're going to set up this attack run, and I'll see you shortly. Okay, here we are. Welcome back, everyone. I've done a little bit of a... We did extend that leg in the end. Yeah, we, we had to extend it, but we've uh, kind of set ourselves up here. I've come in a little bit closer than I wanted to, actually. I am 550 from the the line, which is which is actually okay, thinking about it. Right, I'm here up in the um, coin tower compartment. Uh, ooh, let's spin this round. Right, so you should be coming from over here somewhere. Oh, there you are. British ship. 
what are you? Fortunately, this um, choppy wave should um, help the um, disguise of the periscope. So it's a medium composite freighter. Lovely. We know its speed was six and a half knots. So if I grab that, can I go six and a half? Yeah, I can. Excellent. There you go. Six and a half knots. That says six knots. Brilliant. Um, range, we said, is going to be 550. And let's have a look. Right, torpedo tube. What have we got? we got steam in one and three. No, we haven't. Steam in one. We've got a... Search pattern in three. We got two electrics and okay. So torpedo tube two. It's choppy. I'm not going to use the magnetic ones. So we're going to go quite shallow with tube one, and we'll shut that one up at two as well. So it's tube two. It's the electric one. That's going to obviously it's got a standard speed. So there's not much we can do about that. Set that there. Good. Tube one. Uh, we'll have that fast as our backup should everything go a bit pitong. Good. Right, so there she is. Um, she, yeah, she's she's not far from where we thought she would be, which is grand. Oh, look at this. This has not worked out nicely. So if I go... Uh, try that again. I'm going to do it parallel rather than on top so I can actually read it. So it's... 34. Angle about. Oh, God. Why are you so fiddly? It's probably a bit more than that now, but that's the initial rough setting, which is fine. Pootling in, look at her. No deck guns that I see. Potentially, is that a 50 cal there, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's difficult to say. Uh, so the range, very quick range calculation, exactly where we know she is. So she's going to be right. It's 550, isn't it? Yeah, it's 550. That's fine. It's 40. 40 degrees, perfect. Good, right, so let's select tube 2. Hopefully these will fire. If not, it's a bit of a, bit of a damp squib, isn't it? But um, we'll do what we can. Uh, I think we've got everything set. Everything's looking good. She's got boxes and stuff lined up on the deck as well. Yeah, that looks quite a, a newish type um, ship. So if I can get the... Um, speed conversions out of my face. That'd be great. Thank you. Uh, we've got a bit of time. We've got a few seconds. So let's um, let's kind of have a look. See when these were built. Freighters. So this is a uh, medium composite. It's in no particular order by the looks of it. Uh, we're still good. The old calculations. Oh, there you go. Went straight past it. Medium composite. Obviously, United States, Australia, Belgium, UK, blah, 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 blah. There's all the... Uh... Uh, 1932. Okay, so she's she's about 10 years old. Well, the, if it's an original one. That's interesting. Looks in good shape, doesn't it, really? Right. Uh, I'm happy at 3 metres, I think. The waves are a bit choppy, and she's maybe sitting a bit high. Let's just bring that up a touch, maybe. Torpedo depth set to two meters. Closing tube two. Petkoshloss flooding tube two. Okay. Closing tube one. Petkoshloss flooding. Right. Uh, we've got a bit of time, it would seem, because we are quite close. So uh, the closer we are, obviously, the the less time it needs to uh, transverse to the um, target. So. We're going to be out of her range as well, which is good. 62. Whoa. 
Hang on, was that 62 or was that 72? Seventy-five, seventy-four. Okay, that's that's fine. It's more or less there. Right, torpedo tube two. Stand by for firing. We'll fire when it hits the nine. Fire. Tube one, stand by. We're firing two because we can't risk um, one having a duck. Look at that. That's probably going to overtake it, isn't it? It's a race of the torpedoes. Who's going to get there first? You can guarantee that the um, the first torpedo will probably kill it now. But, um, oh, it's going to be... Oh, it's close. Two torpedoes. She's gone. Nice. Okay, better to be sure, to be sure. Grand. So, a quick look at her. That's a medium composite freighter, 3,970 tons. Quick auto save. That takes us up to five ships sunk, 27,408 tonnage, all merchant. Nice. Good stuff. So, um, yeah. Two quick hits and she is gone. We are running low on torpedoes now, so we may just um, sort of faff around a little bit and then um, head back to uh, rearm. As a life raft, uh, you can't quite see it because of the waves. There they are. Whee! It's going to be quite bobbing up and down on that. Okay, with her slipping beneath the waves, I think that'll call an end to this week's weekly patrol log. Nice, good stuff. Let's um, come out of uh, battle stations. Good stuff, everyone. Good stuff. Let's uh, surface the boat. Surface the boat. See if we can go and help the survivors and um, and uh, leave it there. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you for continuing to uh, partake in our voyage of discovery as the <laughs> as the crew of U-77 try and traverse the war in various different theatres. Um, yeah, we're only... What's the date now? The date is the 2nd of August, so one month, and Tanker Alley... Oh, look, 2nd Happy, Happy Times has finished, uh, but Tank, Tanker Alley will finish in um, less than a month, and then obviously we'll be looking to unlock the next... Uh, theater or the next uh, z combat zone where they want to send us so yes we are almost complete with operation drumbeat not long now uh, we've given it a good go and i think we've probably d done enough to secure the uh, the tonnage obviously we're not sinking tonnage where they want to at the moment but we sunk a lot while we were there uh, i've got more dribbling stuff from my head not quite sure what's going on there some sort of effect glitch uh, but we'll leave it there thanks so much for watching thanks Again, for continuing to uh, support us and the crew, as you can hear the waves as we breach uh, the surface. Uh, so I'll leave it there. Thanks ever so much again for the third time I think I've said that now. Remember, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. It really does help the channel and helps the video especially to um, get viewed by others. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and tickling the bell next to it so you get all the latest notifications. Grand! Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much. Till next week. Take care. I'll see you then.